it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I want to be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget what you wanted. Hi, dolls and gents. I hope everyone is having a bomb day today. I'm going to show you how I installed this wig. I want to give a huge thank you to Wow African for sponsoring today's video. If you are not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell so you're notified as soon as I post a new video. I am rocking Wow African's curly 22 inch 13 by 6 HD lace frontal wig. The lace on this wig is impeccable, y'all. Can y'all see it? Y'all might be able to see it, but in person, I'm telling you, it's barely clockable. This is probably the best lace that I've had on a wig in a long time. So this hair, y'all, is super full. And of course, the more that you play with the hair, the bigger it's gonna get. But I think this is a good volume, especially for no product in the hair. I did go ahead and redefine the curls today. I don't wanna talk too long. So if you wanna see how I installed this wig and styled it today, then y'all know what to do. Definitely stay tuned. So your wig comes packaged in this Wild African navy matte box, as well as this satin drawstring bag and this thank you card. And it also comes with this goodie bag full of a wig cap, rat tail comb, and two wig clips. And here is a close up of the HD lace with the hairline. It already comes pre-plucked, but I did do a bit more plucking just to make it more natural. And I bleached the knots so that you would not be able to see black dots on the scalp. And here is the natural curl pattern of the hair after co-washing it. So here is the inside cap construction of the wig. It does have a 13 by six HD frontal, so a lot of parting space, as well as two wig combs in the front, one big wig comb in the back. I've never seen this on a wig, y'all. And it also has lace in the back if you would like to wear it up in a ponytail, as well as this elastic band for glueless wear. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop the wig on my head, and I am using the elastic band. So today I decided to remove the excess lace prior to using any adhesive. And with HD lace, I do typically like to remove the lace first before I lay it down, but I switch between either or, so it's whatever you're more comfortable with, to be honest. So as you can see here, this is the natural color of the HD lace. You could definitely lay it just like this, but I wanted to go a step further and tint the lace. So I did go ahead and use a tint spray on that lace. That's why you're seeing it's darker in color in between these clips. So I'm going in with my Ben wig spray in the black container and I'm going to lay the lace in the middle first. I am working in sections here. So I'm gonna lay the middle, then we're gonna go to either side. I don't always do this step, but this particular day I wanted to make sure that it was laid as closely to my forehead as possible. So I went ahead and used my blow dryer on a cool setting with my comb just to make sure the edge of the lace was as close to my skin as possible. And that's going to give you a melted look. So I'm going to do the exact same thing on this side of my head. Using the blow dryer on a cool setting definitely sets that lace in place and makes sure it's not going anywhere. Be sure to spend extra time right near the ear tabs because this is the area that tends to lift up the quickest and once that lifts, your wig install is not gonna look good anymore. So pay extra care and attention to that area. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do baby hairs 
and I'm doing light baby hairs, but I do like my ear tabs to be pretty full near this area. If you don't like this look, you can definitely skip it. You don't have to do baby hairs with the HD lace, but I just like the look of it with wavy and curly textures. And I'm using a mousse today to lay the baby hairs. I'm using the Nairobi Foaming Wrap. This gives a light hold, but it definitely does keep those baby hairs in place. It really does give a feathered baby hair look when you use the mousse, and I've really been loving that. So now that the lace is laid and the baby hairs are done, I'm gonna go ahead and pin the hair out the way. Y'all know what time it is. It is time to apply the elastic band and I'm gonna go ahead and beat my face and I will be back after I'm done, y'all. Keep the elastic band on as long as you can because that's going to make sure that your wig looks laid. So my makeup is complete. My wig is nice and melted. As you can see, I freaking love it. If y'all want a makeup tutorial on this look, definitely let me know in the comments section down below and thumbs up this video. But here is the natural texture of the hair. You could definitely leave it just like this. I'm gonna show y'all the parting space because it is a 13 by six frontal and it has amazing parting space. Here's the middle. And then here is the side parting. Looks amazing. I'm not even doing the bald cap. So if you're doing bald cap with a 13 by 6 HD frontal, it's going to look really great. Here's a close up of the lace. It looks really good in my opinion. So even though this wig does have amazing parting space, I'm doing the flip over method with this because it just looks so good with the hair just flipped over to one side. But you can definitely do so many different styles because the parting is so full. So when I was plucking the hair prior to installing it, but after co-washing the hair, I did get it a little bit frizzy in the front. So I wanted to go ahead and redefine the curls. So I'm using a mixture of leave-in conditioner. It's the Kinky Curly Not Today, as well as water and a spray bottle. And and that's gonna revive these curls. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to comb it out with my fingers and then we're going to let this air dry completely before the final look is done. So it took about 45 minutes for the hair to fully air dry. I really did not drench the hair that much. I just wanted to redefine the curls. If you're interested in this wig from Wild African, I will leave their website in the description box down below. I think this wig is super gorgeous and it's not heavy at all, but it's definitely giving volume. I love it. The more that you fluff out these curls, the bigger the hair is gonna get y'all. Obsessed. <laughs> I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, do not forget to give it a big thumbs up. Share it with all your friends. That really helps a lot. Let me know what you thought about this install in the comment section down below. Have you tried a wig from Wild African yet? I want to know how your experience was with the company. And like I mentioned, this lace is so bomb. If you've purchased an HD wig from Wild African, let me know if you enjoyed your lace as well. If you're interested in checking out this wig, I will leave a link down below in the description box as well as any coupon codes that they provide me with. And I have plenty of content coming for y'all, so definitely stay tuned. By the way, if you have not already watched my last video, be sure to click the box right here. It's a makeup tutorial, so I know y'all wanna click it and watch it. <laughs>